Watching now or later, and welcome to Hillian's Hub with me, Hillian, along with Akir. And yeah, I, I forgot the freaking extra lights for a second there, but oh well. <laughs> welcome back to Dishonored 2. And last time we got quite a bit of progress, even if we ended up stopping in the middle of a mission. And yeah, one thing that will probably be very obvious for people watching eventually is that the uh, yeah I've had my hair and beard done. So what? Yeah. Uh, yeah, like I said, today was uh, a visit. <clears throat> I, I told you in earlier, but uh, we had to. We have that uh, barber friend who visits every now and then. And yeah, if my hair is getting done, I might as well deal with my beard a bit as well. It's not completely gone, but it's just trimmed. All right, good. If you had, if you had shaved it all off, uh, 
Don't be consequences. <laughs> okay, enough with the personal drama. Let's get into the drama of this game. Wait. The drama of, uh, well, getting our throne back and uh, the drama of me failing to be stealthy and st <laughs> still and uh, all secrets like. Wait, hold on. What? What the heck happens when you get a haircut? No, I'm joking. It's exaggerating. Yeah. <laughs> I get you worried. But I, when, before the turn 18, I really hated to go to the barber for... Yeah, I was not allowed to have my own haircut. I uh, kept getting a haircut I hated. Okay. And yeah, Should it was like the barber my was against me all the time. Should I try to guess what sort of haircut they uh, give you each time? Uh, I don't know the name for it. It was not a bowl cut, like that, but it was more of... Every, it usually went into my eyes. Okay, and stabbed me in the eyes. certainly the one I would have guessed. Yeah, so it was more of a... It's really painful, but I said, no, no, it would hit your eyes. It's hitting my eyes all the damn time. I do have glasses now, but yeah. Prefer a uh, uh, ponytail. That's... Conservatory closure extended. A representative from the Royal Conservatory confirmed today that the site's closure has been extended once again, with no promise of when it might reopen. Curator Brianna Ashworth could not be reached for comment. Readers will remember that an infestation of mites in the Roseboro exhibit uh, forced the closure nearly six months ago, though there have been rumors that no exterminators have been hired. The Roseboro exhibit was, uh, was to be in a prestigious event sponsored by the Academy of Natural Philosophy, with hopes of attracting numerous experts and guest lecturers from across the aisles. This important exhibition is now on hold indefinitely due to the extended closure. For hopeful visitors, there is nothing to do but wait for further word. Okay, so that's one. Again, what we read of that, and uh, hello. Oh yeah, that's one of the ones we knocked out. For a moment I thought, are we going to walk into a dormitory or something? Oh yeah, remember, there's two guards you want to leave alone due to, well, they wanted to escape. You're not a guard and a civilian, I think. Nice. But yeah, we're going to... Oh, hello. It's a trap. And a rat hole. Is someone sleeping there? Okay. He, he almost sitting like me in my chair at the moment. Is that going on? Okay. The, oh, that's the that's the windmill that we sh uh, shut off. Okay. So we know it's on this floor. There's nobody nearby at the moment, so we can rush around for a bit. So we need to get one floor down. Right, a shot. Something unsavory going on. And find an opening. This. We already looked down here, but that this one's closed. <laughs> it's blocked. <laughs> Hmm. What was that? I have one of the guards yawning, I guess. No, 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 next to you, towards the fence. And that's one of the lights, I think. Where the hell it's aimed oh. right at the window? I don't know. I, must, I mistook it for a solarium. Hello. Uh, wait. Is it called solarium in English? I'm not sure. I... Let's see. Windmill operation, section 21, regular maintenance. Check wind speed. Windmill will only turn with sufficient wind. Danger. High wind may overcharge security systems. See appendix wall of light. Ensure gear works are free of debris. Oil mechanism in accordance with schedule. Uh, remove nesting animals or vermin such as bird, rats, or blood flies. During emergency, disengage windmill using the lever located on maintenance platform. With min windmill disengaged, check wooden blades for cracking or loose supports. Wax wooden blades in accordance with schedule. Periodically, gears, blades, and other parts must be repaired or replaced, as specified in section 10. Okay, this one here is interesting. Uh, let's take a quick little look here. I'm pretty sure we don't have. Yeah, we don't have a wind power, but Corvo probably likely would have. So, if if he still has that available, he could probably overcharge stuff. Hmm. That, that could be interesting to see that happen. But we need to start over again as Corvo to see that. Uh, and, and it kind of makes sense for... 
Ben? He's from here. Twelve weeks have I been at sea. Okay, we're definitely going to need to find an alternate entrance, or we're going to have to break down the freaking door. To get in I swear. Room. I swear. Th these, these developers must have had a lot of fun in making songs. Yeah. Let's see. I was going to like, try to do that to avoid fall damage, but okay. The, the, most AAA games I see in New Zealand are maybe one or two songs. What was the game's name? Oh, Dishonored. Dishonored have been having a lot of songs. Yeah. That the NPC it sings. Of, yeah. it, is, it is more of an immersive sim as well, and typically a lot more work is put into those. Today's your lucky day, madam. It's the day you get to meet Pirate Betty in person. Time to pay the price if you want to live. Oh no, please! I have nothing! I'm just a poor maid! I see you've heard the stories about Pirate Betty, about all the terrible things I've done to the fools who refuse to give up some trinket or a bag of coins. Have mercy. This is theater. Don't hurt me! Should I start by cutting off your nose? Help. Or maybe I could sign my name across your forehead with a knife. Use you as a human billboard. Help! Murderer! <sighs> All right, no one's coming. No. What a bunch yeah. of cowards. We'll try it again later. Yeah. Theater with a purpose. Yeah, I would say that was really obvious. For I was wondering, is, is this a purpose or just very bad writing? Something. Oh, those clouds. Like an iron lid on the city. Like that. You should march yourself over to the We just robbed the robber. <laughs> okay, seriously, how are we, the heck are we going to get into that door here? There's only two entrances that I oh. Uh I mentioned that earlier. You mean you didn't I missed that. And I yet told you! Uh, I can be easily distracted at times. It's true, people. I once distracted him with uh, uh, cat bells and keys. He was gonna let that slide. <laughs> yep. Now, I think we've read this one before. Uh, ta -ta 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 -ta. <laughs> yeah. That's a repeat of one we found earlier. Let's open that up. Note to the Overseer. Overseer Ogburn, I should be back within a few days. Continue to compile information on Brianna Ashworth's activities. Despite the odd letter we received from our oracular sisters in, in Calero, I do not like them to issue a proclamation without certainty. But I know I'm right about Ashworth. My gut tells me she's a threat. That said, the Howlers are my priority. This conflict with Paolo uh, could affect our influence in Karnaka for years to come. Yours in the strictures, Vice Overseer Liam Brown. Okay. Now, are we going to find anything in here that will help us put her away less easily? Possibly not any less painfully. He has marker showing where exactly we need to find that. But at the very least, let's loot whatever we can from these jackasses. Anything else here of interest? What the heck? I saw two. I saw a small and big pig. They look exactly the same. Now, I think we've seen a bigger version of this one before. Yeah, there is one right over there. Yeah, it, it's oh, the wait. same guy, but it's a slightly different angle. I, yeah. I think we've seen that face before. I yeah. We are pro possibly in the first game. Hello. Wait. I think it was one of those that got murdered. Let's see. A map of the place. Always useful. Let's see. 
just in case this wakes up the guy. And also, let's loot that before it goes off in our face. Huh, what the? John Ashworth. Huh? I think Carry I've spotted someone suspicious. For a while, I believed what? Ashworth has some connection to the occult in Karnaka. Something is happening that I don't understand. The overseers are the forward face of the Abbey, but equally important are our sisters from the Oracular Order. To be direct, I suspect something is wrong within their sect. Subtle changes to the types of proclamations they've been making. Small but troubling deviations from tradition. But publicly saying anything along those lines will get me accused of heresy by my rivals within the Abbey. Is it possible that Ashworth has infiltrated the Oracular Order? So Vice Overseer Byrne thinks Ashworth is interfering with the Oracular Order. If true, it's another reason she has to be eliminated. Okay. On the Oracular... I, I thought for earlier that she was supposed to be part of it, but I guess that means we... Uh, yeah, I misread the clues somewhat. Let's see. On the Oracular Order by Douglas Harwickle Historian. Uh, much has been said about the Blind Sisters of the Oracular Order. In truth, their eyes function just as well as yours and my, or mine, however they do endeavor to become blind to distractions and fr uh, frivolities. Uh, they will, if necessary, uh, they will, if necessary, bids them walk among us wearing richly hued blindfolds or otherwise covering their eyes. In this way they remain at all times ready to see things clearly. Decisions are made during cloistered gatherings Though no others are permitted to observe, the process was described to me, so I render it here with permission. The room is prepared with heavy incense and blessings from the strictures. In a circle sit thirty or more uh, sisters of our order until the room is brimming. We will hear no topic, lest we have uh, uh, each had adequate time to research. Several outcomes will be discussed, and some sisters are specifically tasked with advancing less popular or unlikely scenarios. It is not permitted to remain silent. Every voice must be heard. It may take some time to arrive at a decision, and by then all are quite well are quite versed in the myriad consequences, and may have lengthy advice for all contingencies. When the pain is written, it may be as short as a sentence or fill twenty pages. Yet still, one last sister must approve it. The High Oracle herself. Okay. All right. It's an interesting system. Yeah. The like they, is what sort of stuff do they cover? Yeah, do they seem to be really wanna make sure everything goes as smoothly as possible? Yeah, and that Which every, means it, that every uh, possibility is accounted for. Yeah, so definitely thorough. And um, yeah, it's in the names of the oracular order. The I'm guessing what they mean is that they go over whatever visions and prophecies, possible prophecies they have as thoroughly as possible to account for every possible outcome, or as many as they possibly can think of, at least. It probably yeah, makes sense sounds... for... But the thing we've seen enough in movies and series and such, where a prophecy can be extremely vague. Yeah. So... That might be a good method to really think it through. <sighs> yeah, don't just rush it out or anything. Just try to work out any possible details and such. Let's... Yeah, That's just to leave as little of Mrs. Understanding of a prophecy as, such, uh, as possible. Yeah. I think we entered here before. I think I'll probably have picked that up. Oh, that's, that's, that's a camera. Photo camera, at the least. I very much doubt they have the technology to make movies here yet. But they'd likely not be too far off. You mean like you're moving pictures? Yeah. I think there was... I think before they were called movies, they were called something rather cute by, in today's uh, terms. But I forget what it was. I just said it. Movers? Moving pictures. Uh, something uh, something else than that. Wait, what? 
Could have been that they called them movers or something. One night at the body house, one night. Uh, I might just be confusing things a bit. I'm gonna have to look that up for. Uh, I'm only familiar with the moving pictures. But there's an alternative. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I, I think I'm going to give up on hunting down each and every one of these. And just grab most that are easier to get. So good idea. Yeah. And I think we. This one name, but it's. It's from Discworld, so it's not official term for moving pictures and movies. In Discworld, they call them clickers or clickies. Okay. And how they here's the thing, the this world is weird and how they cameras work is you make a camera and you put inside a little goblin inside it. Wait, now it's a gremlin. I think it was a gremlin you put inside it and it will quickly draw pictures. <laughs> of course, because this world Yeah. <sighs> okay, I'm going back now because I realized something. Uh, hello there. Uh, that hand symbol on the wall next to where the howlers were in ambush. I'm pretty sure that was the symbol for black market dealers. So, yeah, let's head. Okay, a single one locked from the inside, okay. So yeah, let's head over there and also yeah, re restock on some stuff because we are a bit low on, well, a lot of stuff since we tried to kill one of the blasted clockwork soldiers. Yeah, and as we know how to destroy them, break off the head and arms. Yeah, I, though I think for most the head should survive and suffice since that does seem to blind them unless we get close to them. Yeah, oh right, now remember what happens if you remove the head. If we attack you or others. Yeah, that does make it... Um, what the heck? Can I help you? Hello? Oh, it's... Yeah, it's oh. Ours, of course. Oh, something really stu... Here. And this time it ain't me. Wait, there a third, supposed to be a third error? I think... I actually can. <laughs> I didn't expect <laughs> that to work. I, I right. did not expect we'd be able to just grab her through that. It, it does make sense. It would be this point if you could not do it. You... I'm, I'm pretty sure if we tried that in Dishonored, it wouldn't have worked, but yeah, that's the whole point of sequels, to improve on things. Yeah, and I thought I heard another, but I think that was actually a dog this time. Uh, oh, it was a... Due to pixelation, for a moment, thought you, thought you ate a gun. <laughs> I don't think uh, Emily's constitution is that great. True, Again, but you, want, you want to eat a flamethrower. <laughs> Then again, she has eaten plenty of bullets, but not in the mouth, at least. Oh. oh. I actually expected her to head up. Hello. Time for a hug. Hugs! You best to carry her so that she doesn't fall down the stairs. Wait, 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 wait. Put her with the others. Not just in case. Uh, yeah, just you never know. Well, just in had, case. We have had it that uh, someone somehow ends up finding the people we've knocked out. Yeah, and also it probably be more fun with them gathered in one pile. Since when they wake up they'll be wondering what the heck happened. Yeah. Damn it, Gary, what did I say on uh, about orgies on work time? Please oh God! 
We have the best wares for discerning guests such as yourself. One moment. Forgot to move the stats bar down. There we go. According to this, the I game look still is to running the day out when I can reopen my gallery. Welcome to my shop. Say. An acquaintance of mine is supposed to be holed up in an office overlooking the Royal Conservatory. Check on them if you're headed that way. I check myself, but the streets are locked down. I'd make it worth your time. I'll think about it. See anything you like? Okay, a bit of an odd request for Come a in, random my person. Always a delight to see you. <coughs> oh, hello. Magnetized bullets briefly disrupts blood group soldiers. Those should be useful. I still need to use the freaking stun mines, and I'm going to try and remember to. I'm certain you will be satisfied with your purchase. Uh, okay. Here's the thing about stun mine. For on paper, they sound brilliant. No need but to in practice, for you, I suppose. You easily forget them, and it's gonna take a while until you learn the your uh, target's uh, walking pattern, and to be able to put it in his walking pattern without being noticed. Yeah, I I think it might also be good for combat, just as long as it doesn't zap you. That is, that uh, if you're facing three people, just throw one down and keep moving around there until all of three of them are zapped. Yeah, or you you put it on as a trap, make them say, chase you into it. Yeah. Safe combination. The shop keeps cousin once attended a lecture in a building directly across from the Royal Conservatory, now infested with blood flies. He knows the combination to the safe there. Would be nice, but we need explosive bullets and or bolts to really. Yeah, be safe getting into there. Because, yeah, we can find a bunch of <laughs> alcohol to throw around. They use alcohol. Excellent choice. There's a huge alcohol near them for some reason. Let's see. Upgrades I have some wants. upgrade plans for your gear. Uh, yeah, the range. <sighs> yeah. Let, let's get that so we don't have it happen again that is a sleeping dart to go splat against the railing. To buy a howling bolts at the moment. It's the magnetized bullets. Uh, nothing much else here. Use. It's a pleasure yeah, no to have such that. a unique young lady in our store. Again, I think this only counts for the normal bolts, so there's no reason to get it. Might get Let that. It. Let me take a look at that. At what? Uh, uh, the, the bolt thing. Bolt capacity yeah. plus five, crossbow bolt capacity. I think it might be mean uh, both. <sighs> for. Or otherwise, why keep it so vague if it's only for uh, attack ones? Yeah, let's... Let's take this one, at the least it is 300, but we can easily find that. Again, we don't need that one, we don't need anything on grenades. We already have this as upgraded as we want, <laughs> as we end up finding this blueprint here. Now, let's take a look. Can we buy more sleep cards now? Nope, we cannot. So, yeah, it is only the normal boards. Now, yeah, now I say they, they call this sleep... They only see us darts instead of bolts. So right, that that makes sense. <clears throat> okay, no. I guess we just need to enter our shop. Welcome yeah, back. Do. Please take your time. Uh, I do hope it counts for uh, fire arrows at least. Or, but we never know where we need some deadly uh, arrows for you know deadly wildlife. It does only say one of five here, though. Uh, and now we're back here. Okay. Is that a chihuahua? 
It sounds like some sort of dog at the very least. I'm pretty sure Chihuahuas would have been even more high pitched. Okay. But yeah. Let's move on. Uh, by the way, Chihuahua is actually, if I remember right, stinks around here. Aztec, actually. And it's translatable. It, it means I have received your request and agree that dinner time cannot come quickly enough. Unfortunately, we are still on duty. I will get back to you if I hear anything more. Sincerely, me. Okay. Okay. But I would say Chihuahua um, translates to little warrior. Well, from how much uh, noise they make, they certainly think they are warriors. Yeah, and it's actually a person name before it became a dog name. I suspect they just gave the name to the dog breed as a sarcasm or something. Yeah. Okay. Let's get back to where we were earlier. So there is that place. Shopkeep's associate. Let's, let's look that way. I don't think the guard here will return. Oh, hello. This isn't hostile territory, so she's not going to respond to us. We still have to be careful with this bloody place. Uh, there's something there. Oh, wait, there's another blood, blood line. Yeah. Let's look around for other entrances. <laughs> we literally hit a wall with this one on side. But we know there's another a entrance on the other side over there. Yeah, I saw a door downstairs, but it seemed a bit blocked by, well, board and nail. <laughs> she doesn't look too happy. Uh, she looked almost a bit stuffed. Okay. Yeah, let's try to get in through this side here, and there's some sort of noise can't tell if that's supposed to be singing or screaming. I always get these shifts. They are like screaming and bird singing. Here. And oh, it's it's all the way over there. Not in there. Okay, okay that's good for us at least. That should mean Do. less blood flies. I just had an idea. That, oh wait, no. Uh, Wait, I guess it could work, but it's probably hard to pull off. Luring blood flies into a wall of light. Uh, I, I don't think they'd follow that uh, far along. Yeah. No. It would make sense it, it to be able to turn those into... Uh, yeah. Waters. No, no, bug sappers in this case, Hylian. The wall of light does not swap, it saps. Well, it did sap until you broke it. Well, we found our alternative way in. Somebody's yeah, I just walked across the blood fly. From Jindash Clockworks a few days back. Whatever. Doing, I'd be happier if the gate wasn't so close to that fountain. Oh, one of them's coming this way. And you can turn it into fish! I believe that was an upgrade. Not to drown. Okay, just gonna rest for a bit, please. I told you there's a blood fire here. Uh and wait, wait, that come on, one sting from the thing <laughs> was enough to kill him. Okay. Uh, all the more reason okay. to be careful of those bloody things, I guess. So, is that blood fly just there to be a art to whatever you want to knock out? Shouldn't that be near a nest or something? Unless... Uh-oh. Uh, my, they might not have been lying as much about infestation as we thought. 
And yeah, that's more in here, so th that's why there was one outside. I think it was meant to give you a warning that there's uh, some blunt press around. It's not a full-on nest. This looks like this looks like it'll be our way in. Not. No, it's past the gate at least. So let's do a quick run back. I'm hungry. Like that. And yeah, we want to get in there. The road. And an alarm system. Can okay, just wait for him to. Oh, never mind. No, we what with the helmet? Huh? Hello? Enough to draw his attention? No. Okay. He could throw a rock or something. This also Ooh. helps keep a track of where they are, actually. That makes this power even more useful. So now you only need to... Yeah, we only need to uh, take out one of them. And that's going to be... This guy. Unless they... You're actually getting to get for a chat, okay. It saves you a few more minutes. Um, I could probably reach up above him and then knock him out as I come back down. Like the better knocking out as well. Especially now uh, you have time. I don't like that. Better have a look. What? <laughs> and you. Got him Shouldn't you be knocked out as well now? Oh well. Did, did the spell run out? Is this number three? Okay, maybe. Okay, it could be that there is a time to it, so you don't abuse it too much or something. Oh, hello there. You don't look to be anyone. You don't have a sword. You are just a. Uh, Oh, your face is covered. covered. Are you worried someone might recognize you? This nonsense with the Duke and the new Empress. Bad for business. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, I suspect people won't pack the older Empress. Look at the cigars tomorrow. You want to buy one? You wouldn't bet. miss that. Are you coming tonight? Nah. It's those two talking. For a moment, I thought, who the hell is that? <laughs> um, We're playing dice tonight. You in? Are they, are they trying to talk to me or something? <laughs> Hello. I'm not taking any blame for this one. This one was already here when we got here. So another line here somewhere. There. Where is the trap of that one? That one's probably. Yep, yeah, there's another line. That was attached to this. There's nothing aimed to it from that I can see. Or oh no. Okay. We're getting through. That was me accidentally hitting a mouse against the uh, <laughs> the stand that my monitor is on. Yeah, I didn't mean to activate it there. Okay, for 
an infestation, this place is rather not infested. So yeah, someone was using that as a cover. There, there, there were some bugs, but not the nest. Starveration tubing. Whatever that's supposed to be. Let's see. Opportunity. I have a new assignment for one of your uh, for one with your unique talents. I'd like you to retrieve the old Rose, uh, Roseboro prototype on display at the Royal Conservatory. It's likely well protected, but I'll double the finest fee. Bring it back to me at the shop. MV. Prototype? Alright. Shadow uh, Embrace. Stinging Bolt! Hello! Let's see. Mm, maximum mana, food restores more health, uh, sometimes Cost, stealth faster, regeneration faster, planning faster. Let's see. Which one was that? Shadow Embrace. Shadow walks like slightly longer. Not the most uh, useful at the moment. Let's see. Um, let's pull that up. Because, yeah, we did run out of breath earlier, or almost did at least. Stinging bolts are, I believe, are the ones that make people forget after a bit. And, oh, this also gives us another way to get in here. Or at least get uh. past the, the, the fence. Bloody storm. Today's storm is causing a lot of pixelation issues. Could be, yeah. Uh, and this For... one also puts us a pie. I think this will be the second night we'll be having a, a windy storm. Yesterday it was windy and heavy raining. Which froze! Inside, these people aren't complete idiots. But at least one idiot is around. Let's, see. Let's not be an idiot yourself. The conservatory. I wanted to visit this place with Wyman. She wanted to raise the blood briar, but cannot. After trying to make grave hounds for weeks, she gave up. You should have seen the twisted things she made. All snouts and teeth and tails. That's just the way it is, dear Parmelia. Delilah wears the outsider's mark, and some of what she can do flows down to us. It doesn't seem fair. Think about working your fingers raw, weaving nets. Raising cows to slaughter. Delilah's coffin is here. That's true and fine. A wise way to look at things. But it won't help Lucinda rise any higher in Delilah's favor. So those dog things from the other game were called Grave Hounds. Yeah. Makes sense. We did, did not eat you... that, we picked it up to sell. I hope so. I think that we got five points for it. What's going on? I was too distracted by that. Unpair you and you see Think you're safe over there? What can do? Wrong way, sister. Fill my pillow with your hair for luck! Oh! It's my nails red with your blood! <laughs> How you have come stayed on. in your boring little world! Come on, that's what... Oh, oh. The other way came out the window again. Time to cry and bleed! And... Okay, I'm hoping that the last checkpoint was when we got through the window. <laughs> but yeah, that was my fault for getting distracted and not keeping an eye on them. <laughs> yep. Okay. And again, pick up five points. Up a bit. We can use some uh, sleep darts here because we have extra. This corpse is extra for us. 
A sleeve dot it is. Should we should use those earlier. Yeah. But it's a bit hard to <laughs> plan things out completely when you well you're getting attacked by two witches. Anything of use in here between all of this junk? Super egg. Okay, we'll take that. <laughs> Okay, those are a bit rushed footsteps. Who are you? Did you just eat that? Yeah, there was another husk that we picked up to sell. No, no, not the husk. The <clears throat> yellowed eels. Yeah. <laughs> I'd never touch those in real life, at the very least, but yeah, I don't, you hear their health. Let's see. Natural philosophers. There is always a cure. The question is, what are you willing to sacrifice to have it? When Anton, yeah, when Anton Sokolov spoke those words, Bristol was battling the worst plague in a century. Hospitals were overwhelmed and the citizens panicked. Eventually, a cure was found thanks to the work of Sokolov and Piero Joplin. But that cure came at a terrible price. In his quest for a remedy, Sokolov needed infected individuals who were rounded up and given experimental serums so their reactions might be observed. The plague was horrific enough, but these serums brought on dire symptoms of their own. Blood became as if stone in one patient, in another bones dissolved beneath the skin. The dreadful cries, it is said, were enough to drive a sane person mad. Still, progress was made, according to Sokolov. Alas, it was not enough to test only the sick. For reasons perhaps only a natural philosopher might understand, it is also essential to administer these serums to healthy individuals. Citizens jailed for petty crimes were thrown into cells and injected with Sokolov's experimental serums. Most of these formerly healthy persons perished, of course. Firstly, they were all victims of the plague, sacrificed for a cure and buried in communal graves. Yeah... Sokolov is a person of grey morality, at the very least. Or was, since we, we see how he is now, he, he, he does regret it. How many days till the next red moon? Let's see. Um, Two witches here. Six? Three? So far I can say is Sokolov is no longer the man from the first game. He... Yeah, he, he has realized what he has done and want to make up for it. Oh, reminds me, the dude earlier you stung with one of those darts at the office when you were listening to Machine. Yeah. It looked a bit funny when he ran up to you, I went to the store, and suddenly... It looks like you get, got punched as the sleep dot uh, effect <laughs> kicked in. <laughs> it literally kicked in. <laughs> like yeah, here we Yeah, go go dunk. Uh, <laughs> these two are out cold instantly because I shot one of them in the head with it. <laughs> Ow! Uh, and she just looks plain asleep. Uh, she is asleep. Yeah, but even the position makes it like she fell asleep or something. That's just perfect. Yeah. Unless she has a sleeping dart in her forehead and... That's a big ass fish. Yeah. Wait. Hold on. She picked this so much better than dried. Hmm? Yeah. I would say that's a damn normal fish compared to all the fish I had. Then I uh, see... Uh, is that a giant owl? That over there? Probably, yeah. Uh... More fish. Nice. Oh, hello, we can get into the ducks. Uh, don't, just don't burn yourself now. Oh, well, not the ducks, but at least it's passage. Let's see, there's some sort of mechanism here. For what, I wonder? Okay, oh. this is a pro 
prototype. It's a security system, probably. Hmm. Security room key. Okay. Okay. I think I know what's going on. It was not the mites the clo- it was nothing about mites at all. Just the witches killing everyone inside. Yeah, an infestation of witches. Let's see, that's a new poster. Let's pluck those out where we can. Uh, what the heck is that? It, it, what is that? Thing. Oh. It looked like a carton of eggs. <laughs> Uh, for me, I will think some for the, uh, of those cold to go you get when you go and buy sh sh um, Chinese food and such. You know, have a, have a one pot with rice, one pot of fried uh, chicken, and all that. And I was pondering, wait, did I really have those at this time? <laughs> yeah, this is definitely an alarm system, probably pressure weight. If we break any of the windows, it'll set off. Unless we can just turn it off here. Yeah, the question is, how do we turn it off? Or actually... Yeah, finally... I could finally use one of those stupid things. <laughs> uh... Oh. Okay. Alright, I was say, wait, did, shouldn't you press the button I was thinking? Then it was worth fine. I Maybe get the press... if I pressed the button, it would have set off the alarm anyways. Yeah, I was worried it would set an alarm because you didn't push the off button. <laughs> and, and yeah, that is a big-ass owl. Three of them. <laughs> Holy! What the heck? They're doing our thing! And also... Closer. I say this. For, for, in this world, you don't want to be a mother carrying the, sh the child at the night time. Yeah. Let's see. What is this here? Or Calco? No, the, or, uh, actually... Or the, I think these owls are big enough to eat people's pets. What is this? A mummy? Now it's part of... It's multiple bones. And... Oh, hello. There is certainly something. One over there. What is this? They're messing with it somehow. Oh yeah, we can... Over there. Oh, of course, then I would still be doomed. Yeah, just a glance. As a, a witch, she's probably already familiar with the taste of wood. <laughs> probably not lacquer, though. What? Uh, you know what? No, don don't tell me. Don't tell me. No, I feel like with, that, this with is all of the, with all the plant stuff. They probably uh, mixed in. Uh, oh, what is the word even? Bark, yeah. So they probably have mixed bark into at least one of their works eventually. Okay, I, I thought it was so you were to do some innuendo or something. <laughs> A yeah, very cringy. For, no, for that they need wizards instead of witches. I just realized I think we should be glad they don't use brooms. Okay, what 
is to deal with all of this then? Wait. Hold on. Corpses, Maxic symbols, Maxic smoke. Um. Helian? Mm -hmm. I think we are in the area where they are preparing necromancy. Good chance. That's... They did mention earlier Gravehounds. Sundash was tiresome. How does this even work? Lance is required. Okay, we're going to need to go on a bit of a scavenger hunt for those things then. Hello. Warning from Vienna Ashworth. All of you, if you share my loyalty to the Lila and to our coven, heed my warnings. Uh, or, yeah, heed my words. Again, I was haunted by nightmares about the uh, oraculum. The original lenses Jinjas used in the device nearly ruined me. I felt the Lila's magic flicker, and the flame which he rekindled in me almost went dark. Uh, like it went after Breakmore 15 years ago. Okay, so she, so she Ashworth is one of the original from her coven. Hmm. We might have actually okay. knocked her out whilst we were doing that with doubt. I fear another instant like that will cost me uh, everything. My connection to the void, to magic itself. We cannot afford any more mistakes. I will study the discarded lenses in my workshop and have them destroyed. Remember that Delilah is relying on my efforts and the oraculum is attuned to me alone. Do not interfere with the device. Only I have a chance to control the oracular sisters. Rianne. Okay, so that's how we take if her If I out. can sabotage Ashworth's communion device, she'll be powerless. Okay. Bloody heck. And also, you're actually, let me say, call it Oricalcum. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> For There's people, not many but... words like that, but it's uh, or, or rap and stuff and such. Yeah. Though... Or recalcum means completely di something different from uh, these things here. Yeah. Uh, if I remember that, it means mountain copper. Okay. Uh, hello. Oh, great. And there's great hand. To Jindash. I'm told he's a gibbering idiot now. I don't know. Forgive me. No, my dear. It's a loss. But I doubt he has any. Sokolov was taken away as well. Who would want that ancient fool? Never mind. How goes the communion? I am hungry to whisper into the ears of the oracular sisters. My influence grows. Last night, I walked through a dream with one of them, and we drank from a fountain in the town where she was born. The vice overseer Burns' suspicions were right. No. He continued to tinker with the lenses. Thicker, thinner, more opaque. It was tiresome to watch. I still have the old lenses and cast-off parts piled in my workshop. But Jendash finished some time ago. The rest is up to me, learning to use the machine. A tricky thing, touching the void through such a device. Blood and biscuits. I look forward to using it myself once you're ready. Okay, enough on that in case they're going to use it eventually. We want to get those lenses and swap them out quickly. Yeah, it's also Delilah want to use them herself. I'm not sure that is Delilah. We just need to forget it's probably one of the witches he's put in charge of yeah, tuning it, it or something. It sounded like the Delilah, they, I think they called her Delilah even. What would you and Father so, advise if you were both here? Sometimes I dream we're all together again. Uh, they were talking about Delilah, not uh, two, I think. Uh, I was thinking of if they were using, you know, the statue communication again. Mm, could be, and this place has been <laughs> completely infested. I'm not getting in there without good reason. Zero pirate caves. Okay, just a map. There's something here. 
was something elaborate just before Delilah came to Karnaka. I wanted to know what it was. I'm teasing Tamina. I read it too. Do you think Delilah really could have done that? I've heard the same stories about Paolo the Howler. What you've heard about Paolo is not the same. He's a street orphan, full of tricks. But I have faith Delilah could do such a thing. Coming back? It doesn't seem possible. That's all. My dear Orlando, some people see doors where you and I only see walls. Okay, is that... I think they're talking about how the hell she got out of the void. Let's dump you here. So, hmm. Are those archives in here somewhere then? So that would be very useful information on how the hell she got out. In case we need to stick her in there again. Need to find those archives though. And now I could I could link those two together and knock them out. But they seem contented just to uh, yeah, be up there for now. So instead let's focus on getting up and to those lenses. Because we we've already been going for an hour and a half. One of the statues. No. Oh, wait, it's a corpse. Uh, wait, hold on. Do that trick again. Nice. Do all corpses glue up like that? I think they do. Still. Yeah, considering that it might be up to necromancy, Nec probably good idea to keep an eye Ow. on them. What the heck is all of this? Okay, whatever it's written in, it's not English. Hmm. Well, it, it's Eng it could be English, just very bad handwriting. True. That's in case we do eventually get the skill to make our own rooms. Hmm. Okay, <laughs> ten extra coins. More sleep darts for us to get. Some oil. Yeah, you, you've been very stingy with sleep That's darts. So every time we find the do find some. In the device. Yeah, that was. It looks like Kieran Jindosh made these alternate lenses for Ashworth's device. Now I can use them to sabotage it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Original lenses Jindosh and I devised for the oraculum were horribly flawed. And flawed. Rather than focusing the energies of the void, the faulty lenses scattered them. My head was filled with noise, and the spiritual channeling linked me to the Lila's ma uh, linking me to the Lila's magic was nearly extinguished. I will not cease my efforts until our coven controls the sisters of the oracular order. But I know now that I proceed at great risk. The old lenses uh, could have been my ruin. They are stored in my workshop for now, but must be destroyed. So, almost a copy from earlier. And hello. Let's make sure. Nobody nearby. Wait. Something is I meant nothing to my fine family. Of course. An advantageous marriage and years of childbearing. They, they promised me to a man three times my age who breezed on about our wedding night. But a curious thing happened on the way to the altar, Delilah, from the first time I slipped out of the manor in the dead of night. There was no returning to my cage. Looking at the stars and drinking wine on a rooftop, I was free. Instead of seeing the overseers for marriage, I visited my father's banker and raced away from my old life. Toward Delilah. Those were the Coven's glory days. Okay. Millbone. Yeah, most of these people have you know, had good reasons to run away from their lives and join the Coven. It's just that yeah, 
they've taken their freedom too far that it, they take away the freedom of others. Yeah. Oh dear. You? Invisible What's with thread. these? What's with these flowers? Reach renders you invisible during move. Oh, yeah, we're, we're getting that. That is Wait, going what? to be extremely useful. When we teleport now, we'll be invisible. So yeah, that that one is not coming off again, probably. Nice. And we can still be okay. heard, probably, but still. Okay, that's a clever use of a bathtub behind you. Yeah, there's been worse uses. Okay. What? It kind of makes sense with that type of bathtub. You can use it as a, uh, yeah, thing to grow things in. And... Looks like one I can steal. <sighs> Wait! Stop! Bravehound. Yeah, I heard it before I saw it. I instantly heard the damn growling. Here, and here we have one of these. Something looks. Uh... Now that's a Gravehound skull. And it's definitely active. It was laying down as a trap. Yeah, we, you need to destroy the skulls. To, uh, let's see, where is that down there? You needn't to be bothered. She's oh. got her mind on the sisters of the Oracular Order. Yes, because otherwise the Abbey will see us all blackened by fire. Now stop wasting on you. Uh, even witches will just dick around. And yeah, I remember that we need to destroy the skulls to get rid of the grave hounds. Yeah, so probably need to break them before they awake. That looks... Why is that sh uh, shimmering? Is it a... Oh, we can open it. Oh, broken whalebone sword, okay. Wait, what? Hmm. That's an a odd find. Was it ceremonial, decorative, or they actually used it? I think it does look similar to the swords that the Lilas witches use, which is which is a detail that I like. That the different factions use different swords. The howlers so far, uh, the, the howlers so far, I've been using giant freaking uh, scissors as swords, and yeah, the witches use whalebone uh, as swords. Hmm. Ah. Let's see. The silver spike genius inventor can barely recall his own name. Kirin Jindas loses his smarts in a bold experiment gone wrong. You know him as the grand inventor, the genius of our time. But that was before his latest experiment went somehow wrong, leaving the man a blubbering shell of his former self. Scandalous, but true. Servants are gleefully coming forward with stories of the once great inventor now barely able to navigate from room to room. One woman claims that Jindas is now unable to determine which way to turn a simple bolt. Everyone knows it's righty tighty, she said. Uh, another wondered openly whether Jindars may have been using his pupils' ideas all along, faking his genius to gain reputation. Hmm, that sounds familiar. Uh, that sounds similar to someone else we know who is considered the quote-unquote smartest man at the moment. <laughs> Allegedly a cruel, uh, a cruel employer, sadistic in his dismissal of his staff's basic needs, there is one curious turn in this story. Those closest to the inventor claim he is now gentle as a lamb. Hmm. That is kind of good. Yeah. And it is better. This is in general better now. It, it is a shame to lose his intellect. But yeah, an intellect put to bad use is still a bad thing. And well, in a way, he doesn't suffer now. Because 
Yeah, he, he is too dumb to realize who, how dumb he is. Ignorance is bliss, after all. Sometimes I wonder if that's true. This could be tampered with. Ashworth could be cut off from the void entirely. No more witchcraft. Okay. If I if I sleep dark those two, they're going they're probably going to fall to their death, so I'll leave them be at the moment. But I get the feeling that the moment I pull this thing, all hell is going to break loose. So just for our own security. Touch of the void. The Lila. It was everything I had. I'm no threat to you now. To anyone. Hmm. Surprised we can't knock her out now. But yeah, she did just lose everything, just like Jindosh. But she has the uh she doesn't share. <clears throat> she doesn't share the ignorance of uh, the, the blissfulness of ignorance. She will know the rest of her days what she had and what she lost. Yes, we, we don't even need to kill her or send her to uh, you know the other extremists. Yeah. What she does now is entirely up to her. The moment I thought there was a... There's still a freaking head, but the way with the plants were like this, it's... For a moment I thought something was trying to come out, climb out of the wall. Yeah, those monkeys look vampiric. Are they blonde monkeys? Not chimps? Wait, no, not chimps don't look like that. Okay, now we need to... Let's see. Away for a bit. Yeah. Stuff in our office, and there's a rune up there as well. So, yeah. We already know how we got up there last time. So, let's just do that again. Right, if I saw these big. I kind of what uh, other animals must have had turned into nightmare fuel. We know even the most basic fish here apparently want to eat the king. So probably up just about everything outside of cats. Yeah. And we have seen the statues of the lions. On us that's supposed to be cats. Right. Weren't there those greyhounds here earlier? Or wait. Did you? Did you sabotage the thing? Sabotage the dog as well? Oh, wait, look for skulls on the floor. Yeah, I'm not seeing any. Okay. Yeah, pull on that. Let's see. Done. Straight, uh, straightening up. Mistress Brianna, like you ask, I uh, stored your audiograph recordings in your archive down there in the basement. Okay, so that's like, we'll have to go take a look there. And I tidied up around Ooh. the oraculum, just as you asked. Some of the others were talking about the old lenses you took out of that or uh, yeah, out of that device after the accident, saying they were going to bury them lenses forever at the bottom of the ocean. Well, that didn't sound right to me, so I just stored them in the effigies workshop in case you find... Uh, them some use. All my other chores are done, so I'll go prepare your le leche uh, thistle tea. I'm grateful for the second chance you've given me. I'm sure over time I'll feel Delilah's presence and learn the magic, like my coven sisters. Please don't cast me out. I'll make you and Empress Delilah proud. I promise. Karina. Ashworth's journal might tell me more about why Delilah can't be killed. Okay, so we're going there anyways. Slug sprinting wedges. That sound like hollow point bullets or something. Or 
We're not getting near that thing. Even if there's a health elixir at its feet. Actually, that, that's that's what those are the things why I was thinking she spoke to. Uh, wait, it was the Lila. Yeah. For, for she she said, "Oh, you are coming here." Like, okay. why would she say that if it was not the Lila coming over? Okay, must have misheard then. With my focus elsewhere. Yeah, but it would make sense. If he had several doors here, it would make sense if it's the Lila she spoke to. We can go to the shopkeep on the way back when we go, when we make our exit from here. Yeah, and, and some people have got a bit low, like, like just. Ah! Excited! Um... Okay, we've read that one as well. I think we've read one to four of the yeah, Anton's trunk <clears throat> journey to uh, the Pandesian continent. Yeah, uh, I swear. <laughs> All their talk about Pandesian continent in these games, they bloody have to show it soon. And what the? Let's see. I saw something Let's weird. Let's see, we are somewhere around here, I think. Yeah, curator office, uh, elevator, oh, there's an elevator, okay, and hmm, it doesn't, ah, oh, there's the elevator, there's the basement, I see stairs there and there, in the lobby, archive there, where we could easily just use the elevator yeah. as well, if it's yeah, not but can I mean, um, took up that uh, menu again, I noticed something. Yes, she's crossed over. Yep, because she's been neutralized. Another. I... Yes, I do. The aisles. And... Hello, wires. Okay. X X X. Hmm. Is that... Are those places that the coven have already struck or something that they could slowly be trying to work their way up? Or it could be they look been looking for something through there. Also, I'm kind of surprised that with the entirety of Bristol being that big, that the capital is in the south of it. Hmm. Typically, capitals but, are more in the middle or something. But many capitals are in the middle or by a very good port, like a seaport. And it is by the sea, at least. Yeah. Just checking. Just, yeah, just look at Stockholm. Stockholm is by the sea. Even Kalmar, this is the former capital of Sweden. Yeah, there's also Washington, which is on the complete right side of the states. That was mostly because, well, that's where they first settled, so that's of course where the biggest place is going to be. <laughs> a bit of a risk here. Yeah, and I, I guess the capital uh, Amsterdam is also by the sea? Yeah, more on an internal big lake. But it's a lake that leads to the sea? Yep. Well, then it yep. makes sense they can do further in... Um, Hello! Have a drink on the house. Uh, yep, you're going to pay anyways, thank you. I'll uh, take that as a tip. I was to say, did he just drop honey? Uh, Come on. Assholes just putting a body on display. Okay. Yeah, a fun thing about that lake, it used to be the South Sea, but uh, yeah, then we dammed it up and it turned it into a lake. <laughs> I'll just take a drink for the road. Even the witches don't dare screw with these things, it seems. That just looks at... Is this wax or something? Of some sort. Hmm. Any more drinks? Very much... <laughs> I very much doubt that... The blood flies care about alarm clocks. 
They aren't the white rabbit after all. Wait. Oh! I think I know what they used to draw those magic markings and the blue fires earlier. Yeah, this stuff. Like, Way oil. Use dust or something, perhaps? Yeah, and I saw the marking on a paper thing over there as well. Uh, wait, what the? That? What is. Oh. Yeah, it's not doing anything. Yeah, much too high. Hmm. It made them move away from it. Yeah, they're still on, you know, they're on it again, at least. Is there anything flammable here? Or am I going to have to leap past? It's... Nice. You can see if we can finish this mission now. Are there any more nests nearby? Wait, is that gold on the floor? Oh, here's a drink. It's about to go rum. And instead they get the rum. Oh, come on! Ew! Ew! Helian, ew! The rum. The, the drink that I just oh. threw at them. <laughs> that was rum. I thought you said, I thought you said the run. Because I think it's uh, diarrhea. Uh, that would be the runs multiple. But yeah. <laughs> that is the common slang. Oh, no. You? After Delilah fell to the assassin down, her magic was lost and the coven scattered. I made a new life in Karnaka. Then I heard her whispering from the void, leading me to the Duke, who heard those same whispers. Together we worked to bring Delilah back into the world, changing the Empire from the home of Aramis Stilton, three years ago. Across the Isles, all of us who'd been with her at Brigmore and before, we felt the magic return. Others joined, new faces, new blood. Now, Delilah is immortal. Forever. She holds Dunwall, and we've turned to corrupting the oracular order. The overseers take guidance from their prophetic sisters, and soon we'll influence their dreams and visions. Okay, they have... So they have set up something to bring her back, to keep her in this reality. So she's sort of like a lich now, possibly. Hmm. And yeah, now we just need to leave. Okay, uh, this world's version of King Kong? King Baboon? Is there anything else here? No, not Domino. Nothing. Oh, there's a painting. And how can we move these? Well, we can just get on top of them. Yep. Her heart, I bathe in poison. Who is that supposed to be? Hmm. More stuff. And another one of these. I'm getting a bit sick of these books and nothing. <laughs> okay. Get out. Give the merchant his prototype and be done with this place. Okay. Wait. What is this? What? Supposed to be some sort of giant turtle? Yep, it's a it's a giant turtle. <laughs> Wait, 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 Let, we need to look at his head. Yep. Yeah. Part of it's Why does it have to be pixelated now when I want to see it properly? 
I'll get rid Does of it have dogs. a crest? Sort of, yeah. It... Like for a second, I thought it was another hive here, but no. Hmm. So why does it have animatronic bits in the neck? It doesn't look like it should be able to move. Maybe it's supposed to do some kind of uh, sound? And I have to say this, even the turtles looks terrifying. Another question is, is that turtle made to scale? Like, if that turtle is made to scale, that's a big turtle. And hello! Again. I think those are called caiman, and that's a big tail for a caiman. I don't think they are small. from the looks of it. Yep. Breaking and entering job. Use cliffs out outside wi office window to get over fence, drop down and enter basement through delivery door. Special displays on second floor, enter through security room, grab Roseburg. Okay, so this is the guy... <clears throat> this is the guy who we were sent out to look for. Or, well, whose job we just did. <laughs> That means that there is an entrance somewhere around here. <laughs> okay. Wait, I saw something there. Hmm? On the ground. Yeah, right. Actually, have we... Yes, we, we've been through here already. How did we miss this freaking door? Was it locked earlier, perhaps? Or... No, it, it looks like a door we could easily miss. <laughs> the bone shard in here. Okay, but the door is blocked. Uh, up. Kicked open. Okay. It is breakable. Yeah, I must have been break it down in a sense. It does no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? It's a good thing we don't turn these bolts on anyone human then. Let's see. Swift Stalker. Okay. Uh, there we go. Moving it slightly faster with weapon sheath. Okay. Not too this... useful. Yeah, we said to have it seized. Uh, we grabbed this one before. Another one of these. Wait, is a fourth one? I thought we only did three. Yeah, uh, this is the one with the two deads. Uh, having allowed the captain to pick it up, the creature became. Yeah, this was basically ah, okay. where the captain encountered the murder platypus. Well, more like a squirrel with a hidden scorpion tail or something. Platypus just keeps their gland in their thumbs. Uh, what the heck is that? It look, yeah, it's one fish eating a smaller one. Okay, we we need to take a closer look at that one. Okay. For uh, nice. this is actually the front gate. Okay. Alright, okay, let's see here. <laughs> yeah, not something we want to get bitten by. Yeah. Does this open up? Nope. Okay, let's just get out of here. What's next? Horses have tusk? over there. Let's, let's see, how many rooms do we have at the moment? Okay, good five. Let's see. L oh, link four. Okay. <laughs> I want that, but I'm going to hold off on it for now. Mm. Yeah, if we need, if we need that many people 
to be knocked out at once, I'll get it. But for now, I'll leave it be. Let's see, do we have any better luck aiming there from here? We do not. earlier. Mm. I get the feeling if I jump there we're going to fall off. We're already at the very tip of this thing. Mm. I get the feeling if I try to jump on that it's going to fall off instead. <laughs> so what other routes do we have here? Actually, there. Oh my! Is that my One breath I'm smelling? Maybe my teeth are due for their monthly cleaning. I'm covered in shankers. Monthly. Okay, I'm bad with my dental hygiene, but I'm not that bad. Uh. Two nests. Mm. I think I'm just going to have to sneak through here. Where is the... There is that. Guard. There is another. If I buy that upgrade, I could take them all out in one go. I'm going to try and avoid them first. Do not have an angle to jump to that. You should just work a double shift, huh? mm -hmm. so I don't have to listen to him tell me about how good it was under the Duke's funk. Three over there, one here. Once they say something, miss, jump over there. See if anything else here? I get my bottle there with the mouse. Okay, so there's five in their area. And nowhere to go here. A little dead end. Okay. And at least we can go around here now. Probably could have just jumped that. It's okay. At the very least, we're out of there. Oh, hello. You won't get away! Yeah, I will. Looking for a fight? Two coins for that. Uh. Oh, shit, you. Okay, I, I thought someone else was coming from that. Uh, don't tell me we are going to get too, thrown too far away with this. We're too far back. And actually, I had it wrong. We didn't have an half an hour left because we started a half hour late. So, yeah, now we have a half an hour left. <laughs> yeah. Here, hmm. I'd forgotten about that last freaking guard. Hmm. Actually, I, you know, she's looking this way. I can't grab him without her noticing. Hmm. Silence. Usual 10 p.m. Wait, wait, link them, link them. Out of range. Oh well. And you are getting a free ticket to the conservatory. Okay, yeah, I'm not going in there with. I was <laughs> didn't mean to slide. I'm not going in there without a lot more fire bolts. Show off. Okay, now I That's... know I heard laughing. Hmm. Who's that? It was quite an evil laughter. <gasps> I thought I saw 
one right here. Let's check the place just in case. Uh, 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 okay, you can check this. Uh, yeah, maybe I should, maybe I should lure people over like that a lot more as well. As long as I have somewhere to hide and grab them from at least. Let's see, there's three oh, over there. this actually I probably could have used a heart to get some info on the answer but oh well so I have maybe could have made her look less of a bitch but oh well no we are just we need to go visit the shop, keep still. Uh, that will put us close to the Yeah. Let's port that away, not scare the civilian. And this way we are leaving... Oop. We were almost leaving a mark on the ground. We were also leaving the two uh, friends unharmed. I hope there's a bonus for that. Uh, someone there? Probably not, no. but still a nice thing for ourselves to do. Let's get in here, get down, and hand in the prototype. Whatever they'll do with that. Yeah, none of our concern at least. Welcome back. Welcome back. I see you found the prototype. Your acquaintance didn't make it. It is a risky line of work, I'm afraid, but let's not dwell. I expect you'll be interested in payment. First your finder's fee, of course, and if you like, I can draw up some schematics based on the prototype, something you can use to modify your tools. And as a token of my appreciation, a discount at the shop. A fair I deal. Used that earlier. Okay, a, a blueprint is the most valuable thing out of this. Come thing. in, my friend. Always a delight to see you. Ancient Howl Bolt blinds enemies causes witches to flee. Okay, that's quite an upgrade. Deep Howl, same for the Wolf Howls. Armored Bullet, ricocheting shots. Okay, uh, that could be fun. Uh, if we were more on the killing line. I feel like that one could ah, backfire. Or blueprints for better weaponry. Okay, Master Wolf. We haven't used the Howling Bolts yet, and neither have we used the Stun Mines. <sighs> because so far it's been easier to sneak up on people and choke them out. Usually. Hmm. Yeah, let, let's get this, so we can use some more stuff. No need to wrap it for you, I suppose. Hmm. Let's have a gear, pistol... And outfit. I'm guessing these two are probably stealth related. To, uh. <coughs> pardon. To, uh, muffle our footsteps and such. Like, uh, we Farewell. have with Corvo. And do think of us again. Maybe. Do we did these blueprints on some modern maps? Please, take your time. Anything we can fill up here? No need for those, no need for those. Have no need for gray spring razors. Maybe yeah, I can use those of course against the wolf hounds, but otherwise yeah, it not. was a pleasure to serve you. Oh there there's the upgrade. I thought he'd automatically give them to us. And silver. Welcome back. Please take your time. Piercing insult can pierce multiple enemies and break damage. Uh. Long distance lover when using the spy glass, the crossbow has perfect aim. Even when you chain shots? That, yeah, we're taking that. That's going to be perfect. For this is what I have parts. for upgrading your equipment. Let's see. It requires two upgrades. Okay, so we can only get that if we get all of the previous ones. Hmm. Okay, makes sense. And we have we only been able to afford it. We do. But we'd, it'd probably be a good idea uh, to keep some cash uh, ready. Or, yeah, yeah. Need to fill up it again soon. 
Yeah, it probably be a good idea for us to really get as much money as possible. Yeah. No, no, we're done here. Apparently, we can't slip past the pipe. So let's just jump over here and get out. Okay, I accidentally hit the macro key for end stream there instead of the macro key for, well, hide my ugly face. I might have to put those further apart or make more sure that I hit the right one. But yeah, only like a few seconds were missed there before I noticed. So yeah, going to hide myself and we'll see how Megan reacts. So it's done. Ashworth won't be a problem anymore. Good. But Emily, there's something else. Back when I lived in Dunwall, I did things that I'm not proud of. Isn't that a requirement for citizenship? What I've got to say is not a joke. I knew Delilah and Ashworth. Bought into their bullshit. Which led me down a bad road. To be honest, before all this, I thought Delilah dead. I don't want to get into it right now. But I felt like you should know. There are things I regret. All right, Megan. Thank you for opening up, if only a little. I'm starting to feel like you deserve it. Are you ready was... to leave now? Oh, was she one of the coven members? Maybe. Hmm. Yes. Let's go. Take me back to the Dreadful Whale. Another step toward the Duke of Sirkonos and Delilah. Okay, three dead. Uh, let's see. Yeah, there was the one that the blood... F <laughs> the one with the Achilles heel. <laughs> yeah, do... Where did the other two come from? I don't know. Hmm. It could be that we've got uh, we got into a f uh, fight last time, but I don't remember that. And um, yeah, for the first time, we've gotten points into the stealth area of the game. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah. Yep. Up to until now, each time we've ended up in here. Now we finally have it in this quadrant. <laughs> Okay. okay. We missed some stuff. But oh well. Shrewd negotiations got the best prize for the Roseboro prototype. Uh, Witch no more. Forever severed Brianna Ashworth's link to Delilah's magic. Found the outpost that Overseer, uh, Vice Overseer Brian was using to spy on Brianna Ashworth. For several years, Delilah's been here, getting stronger, turning people against me. Why didn't I see it coming? What was I doing during that time? Pretending to listen at court, ruling through an army of bureaucrats, waiting for the next chance to get free of Dunwall Tower. Well, now I'm free. If only I could go back. Aramis Stilton was once an ally of the Duke. The owner of Karnaka's mines, Stilton lived in a fortified bunker at the heart of the Dust District. No one's seen him for years, since around the time Delilah started making her moves. But whether Stilton's alive or dead, his home holds the key to Delilah's immortality. that time again, ain't it? Not seeing anything of the voids. And it looks like we brought back uh, another souvenir. It's the, the broken whalebone sword that we picked up. I guess I those... I think it is. I guess those are deadly with uh, some magic added to it. True. And well, 
you know how big bone, how, you know how uh, big uh, whales are. So yeah, those, their bones would be able, uh, should be able to carry quite a bit, even in the water. Yeah. I'm sure you can make it very well sharpened, but... Hmm. Delilah in the void. Oh, yeah. Brianna asks, what is my target? Uh, ta -ta -ta. I only know her by reputation. Born to Dunwell uh, aristocracy, she is a sculptor and the curator of the Royal Conservatory in Karnaka. One of Delilah's lieutenants, maybe her closest confidant. They share a taste for the occult. While being held, Sokolov overheard in a certain conversation about a strange device being constructed under Ashward supervision. The Raculum, something more convoluted than clockwork killing machines, but every bit as dangerous, no doubt. I think an after hours visit to the conservatory will give me the answers I need. I'm not sure if that was here before, but I don't re remember reading it, at least. Okay. Dust District. What happened three years ago? Brianna Ashworth and Delilah were infiltrating the minds of the sisters of the Oracular Order, altering their visions and influencing their prophecies. I can't imagine what would have become of the Empire if the Abbey had fallen completely into their hands. Thousands of believe are being spoon-fed a new brand of religion under the same shiny overseer masks. Does Delilah dream of becoming, what, something akin to the Outsider? She's angry and twisted enough for that. I, I doubt he'd enjoy someone muscling in on his territory, even if, well, most of his territory is just watching. I Hello, left Ashwood, stri Ashwood stripped of Delala's magic, cut off from the energies of the void. I hope that sends a message all the way to Dunwall. I'm coming to stop you, Delala, and it won't stop. Yeah, it won't matter how powerful a witch you are. I also learned that Ashwood organized some kind of seance for Delala three years ago. Getting close to understanding the last immortality, and for that I need to explore the abandoned manor of a certain mind boss, Aramis Stilton. Mind bo Baron. Yeah, my mind Baron, my boss. Uh, <laughs> Megan Foster. So I found out Megan Foster worked for Ashworth many years ago. I think Megan knows more than she's saying. What is she holding back? Sometimes she won't meet my eyes. Even when she smiles, she looks sad. My gut says I need to tr uh, thrust, trust her. At least for a little while longer. Can't sleep. I try not to think about my father too much, but I'm worried sick. I hope Corvo is going to be alright. I hope he can't feel the days and weeks passing, not knowing that I'm alive and coming for him. Fifteen years ago, he was the one to rescue me. We spent our days hidden in the Hounds Pit pub. And I thought I would never see Dunwall Tower again. Remember, I was almost happy about it, thinking we would live a life of adventures. I think it helped me deal with my mother's death, as it wasn't, as if it wasn't real, as if it wasn't another life. Hmm. I, I'm certainly going to play through this game again as Corvo to see all the things he has to say. Probably not on stream, at least. Uh, all right. A bit pity, but I understand. Let's see. So we could do it on stream, but just not right after this one. Yeah. <laughs> it, well, I don't think it would affect the story too much. Uh, and there's, pro there's probably videos of that online as well. Yeah. Let's see. Well, it was plur uh, yeah, pure luck, but I managed to get myself passage to Morley aboard a decent ship, the Dreadful Whale, it's called. Is that a mistake? Uh, shouldn't it be the Dreadful Whale, like the Sea Beast? I didn't want to risk pointing something like that out to the captain, that foster lady. She looks like the sort to dump a disagreeable passenger overboard without a second thought. <laughs> and the 14th. Goodbye, Kronika. I won't miss you. Times are getting bad in uh, there. I don't uh, know what's more unbearable, breathing mind dust all day long, or hearing the constant ramblings of Duke Luca Abel over the spe street speakers. Every bar I've played in, some drunk asked me to sing a song, either making the Duke sound like a hero or of the people, or the opposite, the worst villain in the generation. I got sick of it pretty fast. It will take a few weeks to get to Morley, give or take some days. 
depending on the currents and winds, but I appreciate the company of Captain Foster and the other passenger, Tivian Scholar. That sounds like Anton. Uh, I think. Uh, I try to help out around the boat as much as I can, cooking, cleaning and repairing stuff. Playing the guitar for them at night. I hope they don't throw me to the sharks when they find out I'm dirt I broke. I won't be able to pay my fare when we reach Morley. The 19th. Morley and food seems to suit Captain Foster. She likes the way I use lots of sugar and toss a shot of whiskey into all my recipes. Even if she groused at the end of the week about how many of the supplies I'd gone through. 24th. Spent the night on the deck with Megan and Anton. Yep, confirmed. Though he slept in a chair nearby, wrapped in a goat hair blanket that looks like it hasn't been watched since it was on the goat's back. <laughs> I played the guitar while Megan and I drank rum and whiskey, singing sad old Chaconian ballads and giving silly names to the stars. She even hummed along with me when uh, she got drunk enough, but mostly preferred to just listen. I said I have the same voice as someone she knew once, a long while back. On and off, I hear her playing the same old audiograph in her cabin, making me wonder if that's who she's talking about. Maybe I'm feeling jealous. 28. What a fool I am, trying to kiss Megan down in the engine room. She didn't even yell, just smiled a sad uh, smile. Like you would at a child who still believes in night spirits. Tomorrow we'll reach Morley, and I'll disappear as quietly as I can. I decided to leave her my Saconian guitar, as a souvenir, and the only payment I can afford. She'll forgive me, and that she'll find whoever she's looking for. Okay. Not sure if that's been there before. The guitar has been the entire time. And I'm not sure about the book. So, I know something about the last person to use this room. Hmm. Doctors, take our lead. My mind is finally clearing. Now I can return to my work here, helping those who need it the most. And what can I say about what you've done for me? Saved me from the madness and worse, from giving in to a life of sadistic brutality. How could I ever repay you for that? Given who you are and what you're in Karnaka to do, I can only say good luck. The city. The country, the empire, everyone is counting on you. I'll send something special for you, by way of courier. I hope it helps. Blueprint? Nope, oh, combat sleep darts formula. That's going to be useful, though. I'm pretty sure... Hmm. I'm not sure if it's worked in combat before, but it has... So... Listen to me, talking to myself like the old loon I am. We missed an entire conversation, didn't we? Now he's only here Ran and Ashworth, the Duke, Jendosh. All of them taken by making his out of the in city, three days? But I'll explain. Yeah, this says to me that he has been working on... He might have been working on it the Zoom entire time he's on the boat. Not the I never boat. expected to feel so nope, tired. He's working on something I came to about Anaka for the food and the clean air. Now this. <laughs> I need to know why Delilah can't what be it? killed. Everything we've learned implies that something strange happened at Aramis Stilton's home three years ago, but then he disappeared. Stilton lived in a bunker, kept secure by a fancy lock made by Jindosh. Maybe inside you'll learn more about how to stop Delilah. But I have to get there first. Through a ruin created by the Duke, where my father grew up. Megan had an intriguing idea. Paolo is leader of the Howlers. He wants Vice Overseer Byrne killed. And of course, Byrne wants Paolo dead too. Both groups will attack you on sight, but walk in with the corpse of their chief enemy, and they'll treat you like family. You think they'll help me get into Aramis Stilton's home? I'm pretty sure that will work. Oh no. Seeing this place and these people, I can feel my perspective changing. 
How will I be different after this? Well, you'll probably be a better leader knowing how to not treat your people. Yeah. Have you been working on something again? What is that? I can't tell, except for that those seem to be electromagnets. These could be joints of some sort. Are... Mm. Is it a like Tesla? These... I don't think so, but... Mm. We'll have to wait for him to continue. That, with wait, this. hold on. Hold on. Is it levitating? Nope. Oh, it's hanging. All right. I did not see that due to the pixelation. We definitely need to find something to fix that sometime. I think this is, this is, it has been fine the other days. Just today is probably due to bad weather. Okay. But yeah, still plans to update the internet soon. Just I think, yeah, been a lot. I think Anton might be working on a awkward soldier of his own. Maybe. Let's see. Emily, it's true, I don't uh, tinker with mechanical devices much anymore, but I'm not as old as uh, to be useless just yet. Behold, I have fashioned a little contrivance for you, using only parts scavenged from this wretched vessel. <laughs> I think it's not going to be happy about that. That's alright, a few bits were currently in use, but I assure you none were involved in keeping us afloat. So nothing to Megan, as her disposition needs no further siren. In any case, may this device serve you well, so go on. He made a stun mine. Okay. And we're already full on those, so... Uh, he's going to need that when Megan finds out. <laughs> okay. We are running low on time now, though. The Dust District. Hm. I've read about the winds coming through the cleft in Shindere Peak. How the city uses it for windmills and mining operations. Uh, we, you're gonna need to. Home looks more like a bunker than a mansion. Yeah, yeah, okay. Go on. Let's see. Oh, how are we gonna do this? Like, are we seriously need, be forced to kill one of them? Probably, or at the very least, knock them out. Hmm. The vice overseer for Karnaka, Liam Byrne. Paolo's guy, not that old, could have killed a lot but there's earlier. so much living written into the lines of his face. Now, I am curious now, what if we had shot him in the head whilst he was uh, harassing that uh, black market dealer? I'm guessing we wouldn't have been an option, we wouldn't have had an option here. Let's see. From overseers. Dear editor, is stepping aside this week to give you both sides of an argument raging across the city. Uh, we don't need the Abbey. Take heed, friends. Uh, heed, friends. Uh, the Abbey seeks to control our city and our lives. The Overseer are building chapels and... Okay, we've read that one before. Yep. So, yeah, we have a bit of a choice to make next time. Thugs or Zealots? We'll have to take a closer look at both sides. With Ashworth eliminated, that should hamper Delilah's plans. Okay, we can't examine the old ones. Anything going on? Oh, something is going on in the kitchen. Uh, I guess that's dinner. Wait, does that fish head look armored? Yeah, it doesn't have the scaling as the rest of it, so that is probably yeah, perhaps bone plating. We have an extinct fish on the table. The coherent or something like no, that. No, no, no. Uh, oh god, I forgot the, the 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 fish family name, but or simplified term were bone fish. This is still locked, and even the glass is blocked. And are we give are we give a name from one bonefish I remember the name of? Donkey Lostius. 
and it's it's the bonefish that has specifically a bear trap for Yav. Okay. Here, no blood flies this time. So, uh, yeah. YouTube uh, I watch called Gaming Beaver has, of course, nicknamed the damn thing as Uncle Dunkle. Okay, the only thing we have here is that uh, apparently the piping has measles when you inspect it uh, not too closely. Measles? Oh dear. Yeah, there's, there's shadow spots appearing on the pipe there. And on uh, there, if we're not close enough. Looks more like holes almost. Okay. Nothing to be found here. So let's get upstairs. And yeah, end the stream for real now, <laughs> instead of me accidentally hitting this wrong stupid button. Probably good idea. <laughs> so yeah, get ready to save the world. I think we'll probably have a few more targets to go through first. Hello. So our young friend is headed into the dust district. Nobody lives there unless they don't have a choice. And people like Emily don't even visit. According to Sokolov, she'll be trying to get into Aramis Stilton's house. <laughs> Not easy. I've tried. Stilton was a friend. Even as a mine owner, he was a good man who came up from working people and never forgot it. I went looking for him the night he disappeared, but the house was swarming with the Grand Guard. I showed them what I was worth, but it cost me. I'll live to see that score settled. Okay. Was that how she lost her eye and arm? How'd you get up here? What's that? It's <laughs> great. Where is she? Is she already there? Ready now? Ready. We'll take Megan's skip closer. Hmm. Yeah, let's enter this area at least and then we'll call it. And it looks like there's going to be an all out gang war going on. Let's see. We must travel through the dust district to Aramis Stilton's manor, which contains more of Delilah's secret. Vice Overseer Beer, uh, Burn, Beer, however you're supposed to say that, and his religious followers are at war with Paolo, a uh, leader of the Howler gang. Either Byrne, Beer, or Paolo must, uh, will aid you for a favor. Who was the man I'm after? Aramis Stilton? An ally to the old duke, loyal and smart. Stilton helped build modern Karnaka with those silver mines. Started as a miner and worked his way up until he was a prince of industry. But now the new duke drives the mine crews night and day. Dust falls non-stop onto the district. What was once prosperous is now in ruins. I suppose the Duke doesn't care, as long as he sips from silver cups. And what are the cups at Dunwall Tower made from, Empress? In any case, you'll have to pass through the Dust District to reach Stoughton's home. Maybe he's still in there, or maybe he's dead. the dust district. She'll tell you more. I'll wait here with this skiff and take you back to the dreadful whale after you finish. Okay, what is she going to be up to? Either way, yeah, and... go on. I was about to say, what's written on the wall next to you? Dust district. Oh. Probably Bartista Mining in the district. Yeah, I've got a bad feeling about what's been going on with uh, Stilton. Yeah, I... We need... We, uh, we're going to end up with a target 
to kill or neutralize. And I get the feeling it might be him. I, I, I feel like they might be using him like a phylactery or something for the Lila. Some, uh, in some other way with her magics. Oh, that, that's kind of terrifying. Oh, yeah. For now, we save and we exit. Okay, yeah. I... Things, you know, things are speeding up a bit more with how we're doing, like the less... There was less in between in that mission because yeah, we didn't have to go through an entire area just to get to the mission area. That's well less of a typical Hillian uh, bumbling. I won't deny it at least. But yeah, I have no idea how much longer it might take with this game, but I suspect at the very least the Duke will be another target. Delilah, of course, and yeah, probably our current target, whoever that might be, and maybe one or two more after that. Yeah. The question is, we don't know if we are halfway there or almost there. True, but with three more, typically so far it's been about a stream and a half to get to a target. So with at least three more, I'm, I'm guessing it might take uh, another four or five streams before we get to the end of this game. Just a guess. Yeah. I'm, I'm be surprised if there's only two more streams. I'd be surprised if that's the case. So I, I guess yeah. I was a guess between three or five. And yeah, I was a bit wrong about the, with the start of the game, but I sort of expected that we'd end up globe trotting. Uh, hmm. <clears throat> Pardon? I get the feeling uh, Delilah might come looking once we've taken out enough of her pets, so to speak. Actually, actually um, one of the earlier streams that when uh, Emily got her powers from the outsider, we saw Delilah in her. <clears throat> We saw Delilah surrounded by some of her co-conspirators. There was the Duke, there was the Crown Killer, there was that jackass that betrayed us, I think. And one more. Uh, Vienna wasn't in there. Uh, we've already dealt with the Crown Killer. Mm. But it is, I guess the Duke is... Uh... Very soon, then. Yeah, we, at least not all of her co-conspirators were there. But yeah, yeah. I think we have at least uh, two more targets after this mission. But yeah, only time will tell. Yeah. So... <clears throat> uh, again, <laughs> sorry for accidentally cutting the stream short. I might have to put a card or something over this button. Because, yeah, I'm, I'm using the you know, one to hide myself quite, quite frequently. So, I should maybe put it away. Actually, maybe I could... Hmm, maybe I could program things that the, the start you know, stream button is also the end stream button. So there is no chance at all that I might accidentally hit it. Yeah, probably a wise idea. I'll have, to, I'll have to plan on that a bit. But yeah. For now, thank you anyone for watching now or later, and thank you especially Drick here. Oh, you're most welcome, my friend. And yeah. Uh, Saturday, more orcs must die, most likely. And I already have the games for Sunday ready. I'll still need to test them, of course, because I'm lazy. But I think it should be a good batch. Hmm. I'll be curious to see what it is. <laughs> well, you'll see Sunday. So for now, thanks again for watching. And until then, have a nice day. And until then, be safe, folks.